one of the fundamentals to ski touring is track setting. Where we place our track is going to help us stay safe in the backcountry as well as conserve our energy. Always be thinking about the slope angle, so you want to look for low angle terrain and high points in terrain such as ridges. We always want to be thinking about what's above us while we're setting our track as well. Overhead hazard includes things such as cornices, other people or large avalanche slopes and we want to be conscious of what we're walking underneath as we set our track. Our track can also be used for exploring the terrain, looking for any hazards, figuring out where we want to ski down and also it's a great time for us to gather any sort of snowpack information while we head uphill. So when I'm actually setting my skin track I want to be trying to link up low angle terrain and safe point to safe point. So as I look at my route, I have the final destination in mind, but I'm looking at the micro terrain in front of me. I'm going to constantly search for the low angle terrain that's just around the corner. I don't want to confine my track setting just to one spot. I want to be willing to push my track around corners if I can and see where the safest place for me to walk is. In open terrain, this can be fairly easy. I can see far. I'm able to probably link up that terrain for a far distance without trying too hard. When I'm track setting in forested terrain, it's often harder to see through the forest. So linking up those open areas or lower angle terrain can be a little difficult, but just pushing through or around small features can be helpful in trying to source out those low angle spots. I really want to try to avoid getting caught in gully features or steep terrain that's going to force me to work extra hard and burn energy that I'll want for later on in the day. When I'm setting my track, I want to think about the angle that I'm walking at. In general, this is going to be about 10 to 15 degrees. To do this, I'm going to try to walk without using my heel risers, or at the very least, one heel riser. If I do need to go up to a higher heel riser, I instead try to find lower angle terrain if that's possible, or minimize my time in those highest heel riser settings.